this is Ken C here with the uh, HP Photoshop 7660. Uh, here's the ink that I got <clears throat> on Amazon.com. So uh, it's not in its uh, packaging that I expected, but as you can see, they're original. Okay, 56, HP 56 and HP. 57. We're going to go ahead today and install that into the actual uh, HP PhotoSmart 7660. We're going to show you how to do that and how to make sure it works. Okay, uh, once again, I'm back here. We're looking at the HP PhotoSmart 7660 right here. Okay, so this is the actual unit itself. Okay. Uh, it's an older model. Okay, it's an HP. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and lift this up. As you can tell, it's the inside. And right here is where we would load up the actual uh, cartridges. So right here's the 57, and here's the 56. Looks like the 58 and the 59. So to do it, you want to... Let me go ahead and show that right there. Okay, so you want to put your finger here and then put your other finger here and pull your with your thumb doing the pull okay Oops. lift it up and you can see we have a generic one someone prior okay and it kind of did it there and there's what the other one will look like sitting in there okay so here's how you're gonna pull it out so basically See if I can get it in there. See how I do that? I'm just gonna gently pull it out. Okay. And then I don't worry, it comes all the way out. Okay, and then see, here we go. So you're gonna just pull once you push it away. Okay, so just pull that one out. It's a little bit of a fighter, but that's all right. You know, just want to, like I said, just continue to extract it, okay? Because it comes out like so. And like I said, same thing with the other one. Just pull it down first, all right? So it's already coming out of the, the mix, all right? Should just slide out. And they got little grooves, you know. Unfortunately, this is a generic kind, so you know, you just got to make sure you're gentle and you keep pulling. Eventually, it comes out. Excuse me, okay. So, that's what the insides look like. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and insert the new ones that I just got online in. Okay, I just want to make note on these, uh, so I can get it in the light here for us. You know, alright, well, see this is like the 56, right? It's kind of hard to see from a direct light, but on the top there's instructions right here, so I'm going to go ahead and follow those, and uh, we'll go and do the insertion here now. Okay, so, once again, here's how you do the insertion. So, you'll see here that they have a groove, okay? So, what we want to do is we literally want to push it into the groove. Okay, and we'll do so here shortly. Please make note of one thing. You may want to make sure you turn it on. Uh, I was able to, like I said, go ahead and remove it, but when you have the unit on, okay, it'll actually lower the lever, and I apologize, I was able to do it, even with the power off, just to kind of show you here, and this is the 56, so this is the, uh, <clears throat> one of the two that we need to put in here, okay, it looks like the black, so you see by pushing the power off, it's just going to come right on in. Okay. 
Okay. <clears throat> here's the 57. Here's the color. That was black. Okay, so like I said, so you can see now that I'm doing it correctly. Uh, for sure. You have to have the power on. Make sure that power is on. Okay, lids up. And uh, this, the lever will lower on the actual ink area. Okay. So you'll take it. You put it in the slot like I was telling you. Which I didn't do right, but you still can do it. As you can tell, you're just going to run in a little more trouble. Okay. And it should just slide in. So it's in the groove. It's in the groove. They're there. Here's how you do it. I'm just going to take each one. Snap it down. You're going to bring it like so. It's going to say printer calibration. Load slide, slide paper that hit OK. So there's the OK button. Green calibration page. OK, so we're doing so right now. And uh, we will be right back and uh, we'll check see how it went. OK, so you have a calibration page come out like that. It'll look like just like that. And it'll go back to PhotoSmart. OK, everything will look good here. Now let's check on our uh, Ubuntu uh, 15.10 to see the HP uh, uh, status. OK, so. We can get it in there to show it. There we go. Okay, so. All right, so there it is. I brought it up here. Okay. As you can see, there's the actual printer. I wonder about what this is. So I'm using HP Linux imaging and printing uh, software. Okay, and uh, like I said, that is on that operating system. Uh, 1510 is the version, okay. And uh, let's take a look at our supplies. Okay. And there you go. And you can see everything is now loaded. You can see everything looks good. The black cartridge, the color cartridge, everything looks great to go. And you know what? We'll go ahead and we'll print a test page just to make sure show you okay i've already done this okay so we're going to go ahead we're going to print it out okay give the darkness there it's in the dark right now i just want you to hear that <clears throat> printing page kind of loading out for us and we'll uh, show you what it looks like here in a few seconds okay we're back here uh, this is the actual test page you're gonna get okay uh, this is what it looks like okay this is from the uh, Linux imaging and printing uh, system uh, package okay, that you can get online went ahead and I got it off uh, the HP site uh, redirected me to this uh, off-site package. Okay, so you can kind of see what happened there. You can see everything uh, looks good. Or everything the way it's supposed to. And now you have seen how to use the HP PhotoSmart 7660 to load it up how to do it the right way like I said the only error I made was not turning on the power which lowered the lever but you could see even with 
it's still off, I was able to uh, remove it, but like I said, the correct manner would be to turn it on. But I just showed you how to incorrectly still do it safely, and then how to safely put it back in, because you definitely need to turn the power on, and that's where I made my mistake. But I'm just showing you so you do only the right way, and how to load it, so you do get the safe results that you see here. This is Ken C. Thank you. Okay, and if you want to add an extra feature here real quick, uh, you can go ahead and uh, use the Google Cloud Print. You can add your HP PhotoSmart 7660 like I have. You could do it like so using this uh, uh, system, okay? And you can use actually Chromium to uh, do your uh, actual devices like so. And uh, this is, here it is right here. Thank you very much.